Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. This is your Weather Extreme video for Tuesday 26, the day after Christmas. Satellite image this morning shows uh, that we have a few less clouds than we've seen over the last several days. Yesterday we saw a good deal of uh, sunshine filtered through the cirrus clouds. Fil uh, cirrus still uh, occurring across about the northern half of the state of Alabama. Uh, but it looks like we should see some sunshine today, and that should help us with high pressure to uh, settling in over the southern Appalachians to uh, bring temperatures up to around 50 degrees. That's going to feel nice with the temperatures we've seen lately. However, the cold pattern with the big trough over the eastern two-thirds of the country is simply not going anywhere anytime soon. Looks like uh, it's basically going to stick with us through the next uh, uh, seven to uh, eight or maybe even 10, 11 days. Temperatures this morning, um, at the time of the grabbing this uh, chart, they were uh, below freezing over much of the northern two-thirds of the state of Alabama, and notice 29 all the way down there in South Alabama, South Central Alabama. Uh, Mobile sitting at 37 for the warm spot, but for the rest of the state, basically at or just below freezing. Fortunately, there's not much showing up on radar, but we do note the beginnings of some overrunning over Louisiana and eastern Texas. Watch warning map is uh, a little less cluttered. Uh, still a good deal of the, the cyans that you see from northern Maine all the way over to uh, northern uh, Montana. Those basically are wind chill advisories. Uh, the other kind of muted blue is a wind chill warning. And we see a couple of uh, winter weather advisories uh, around Kansas City and uh, just uh, over the uh, western part of the uh, Red River Valley in Texas. QPF-wise, over the next five days, uh, I think the uh, QPF probably has the right idea. It looks like the overrunning situation will develop, but be basically across South Alabama, the Gulf Coast area, with very little of the precipitation getting up our way. The SPC chart um, basically clear for the next three days. This is day one, but nothing else to show you. All right, the 06 CGFS model run. There's our broad trough today, and uh, we see the developing of the the, uh, the development of the overrunning over the um, southeast Texas area, Louisiana, as uh, we pick up some of that uh, Pacific moisture. We can see the moisture uh, basically being picked up and pushed along the Gulf Coast. Uh, as the upper air pattern stays with the trough over the eastern part of the country. And uh, this is where we get a little iffy. Uh, the GFS uh, and the European actually in pretty close agreement. The GFS not quite as far north with the precipitation as the European is. There's a look at the closer view from the GFS, and you can see that it's uh, basically keeping the precipitation south of Birmingham. But when you look at the uh, corresponding chart from the European for Wednesday morning, uh, it has uh, the precipitation all the way up to Birmingham with a, a narrow band of some rain, freezing rain and or sleet. Uh, it does look like if this does occur, that it would be rather short-lived, uh, basically from about 3 a.m. through uh, the early morning hours, maybe uh, 9 a.m. or so, uh, and, uh, and then be out of here. So not likely to cause any significant travel issues, but we'll have to be watching that. Thursday, uh, we see another uh, trough coming through the flow over the western end of the Great Lakes there across um, Minnesota and parts of northern Iowa. And uh, that, in the meantime, the overrunning situation across the Gulf Coast uh, keeps the precipitation basically across South Alabama. So I think for Central Alabama, uh, we're going to have to uh, basically keep in a small chance for precipitation. Uh, the European, on the other hand, it keeps it way down along the Gulf Coast and uh, out into the Gulf. Friday, uh, the trough is still in place and we stay uh, basically dry as a large high pressure settles in over the middle Mississippi River Valley. 
On uh, Saturday, we don't see anything of any significance other than the flow being cold. That pattern stays with us into Sunday. And Sunday, we notice now another deep trough uh, extending from Lake Superior actually westward into the Dakotas. And that is going to uh, actually be digging well uh, south. And uh, this is where model madness really sets in here. On Sunday, the GFS is very bullish on starting an overrunning situation over the lower Mississippi River Valley. And that could be bad. Um, the European, on the other hand, keeps all the precipitation well out in the Gulf of Mexico. And the problem arises here is that the GFS has a very uh, significant band of frozen precipitation combined with you know sleet, freezing rain, and snow over the Tennessee River Valley and a large swath of the southeastern U.S. Uh, so we've got real model madness out this far out. And uh, I think the best thing to do is, as the National Weather Service forecast says, rain or snow or sleet. Now, moving out to Monday, that trough over the western Great Lakes and into the Dakotas digs in. So it looks like we're going to enter 2018 on a very, very cold note. Look at how the... Uh, the uh, high pressure settles in over uh, the western part of Kansas, pardon me, the eastern part of Kansas, and we get that nice northerly fetch all the way down into the southeastern U.S. The only good news out of this is on January the 1st, the GFS is suggesting quite low moisture, so we shouldn't have to deal with any winter precipitation issues. That deep trough really deepens and sharpens up on Tuesday, the 2nd of January. Uh, so it looks like we're going to stay very cold uh, as we uh, enter uh, this. And uh, you can read the discussion, but the GFS even uh, on the Moss Guidance printing out some single-digit values. Looking further afield, the 4th of January, we have another trough coming across the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley. Uh, so that could spell some issues for us. We do note that another deep trough digs in over the Four Corners and New Mexico area. And that uh, digging in of that trough pumps up the ridge over the eastern part of the country. So it looks like we could see some warmer weather for several days. But it doesn't last long as that trough, that deep trough, digs in across the Mississippi River Valley, uh, spelling a return to a colder weather pattern for uh, around the 10th as we see the broad trough once again raising its ugly head for the eastern two-thirds of the country. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Uh, I expect to have the next one posted first thing on uh, uh, what morning is that going to be? Wednesday morning. In the meantime, uh, you can always stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. We are on a one-a-day schedule, just a reminder, while James is on vacation. Have a great day. Godspeed. AKS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.